everybody and welcome to the latest i help video today we're going to be talking about a very important part of your fitness which is sleep and an apple watch and watch os 7 sleep is taken to the next level and apple watch has a dedicated sleep app this sleep app actually tracks your sleep so let's open it up this is what it looks like if you've set up sleep so you can see your bedtime when you're supposed to go to sleep of course you don't have an alarm that says arjun go to sleep now but you do have an alarm that says wake up and you can choose the time. So let's edit that. We can change our alarm just like you would on an Apple Watch for changing the time for something. And you can set it for whatever you want. Seven o'clock is best for me. And then you can choose to have an alarm or not have an alarm. You can choose a variety of great sounds. I like the first light the best. On the weekends, I like the early riser. So bedtime, you can also set. And you'll see a whole bedtime screen when you're in bedtime mode. So to turn that on, you're going to need to go up from the control center and scroll down to the bedtime button. It looks like a little bed. And it automatically turns on Do Not Disturb and sets your walkie-talkie status to unavailable if, it's all, if it says available. So you can just turn your watch face down, wait a few seconds, then turn it back up, and the watch won't turn on. Don't worry, it's not dead. Just pr tap on the screen, and you'll see a screen that looks like this. It's its own unique watch face just for sleep. It tells you when your next alarm is, and it tells you the time and the date. You can turn the digital crown to unlock. That won't turn sleep mode off, so you can play with your watch, do your normal stuff. But when you are ready to go back to sleep, you can turn your watch face down again, and you'll be back in sleep mode. You don't want to keep sleep mode on forever. I mean, you're not going to sleep forever. So you can just turn it off again, just like that. And it turns Do Not Disturb off automatically too. Of course, you can watch our video on how to use Do Not Disturb, which is by clicking that. Perfect. Let's go back into the sleep app. Let's not lose our focus. So you can see that right there. Oops, let's not close that app. And we can see our full schedule. So we can have a sleep schedule for the weekdays and the weekends. On the weekdays, I wake up at 9 p.m. and go to sleep at 9 p.m. and wake up at 9 a.m. Not gonna go to sleep at 7 a.m. and wake up at 9 p.m. That would not be good. And then on the weekends, it's adjusted because of your different activities. You can add schedules for different days. And you can have a sleep goal and a wind down time. A sleep goal is really important so you are getting enough sleep. A wind down is also really important so that you can limit your tech before bed. And you'll see a reminder on the Siri watch face that it's time to start winding down for bed. Let's look at some other stuff. Apple Watch now tracks sleep. So you can see your sleep tracking. And soon in Watch OS 8, you'll be able to see the respiratory rate while you're sleeping. You can see the time of sleep. And you can see the times that you were asleep. So when you went to sleep and then when you woke up. And you can see when you woke up in between then um, to track your sleep the best. And then you can see in the last 14 days if it's consistent or if it's been changing, maybe based on your activities, you've done something new. And the sleep app is pretty limited on Apple Watch. We wanted to just show you that so we can limit our um, data shared with our viewers, even though we're really happy that we can do it with you. Um, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, the sleep app will help you sleep the best. And we'll see you in the next video. Be sure to like and subscribe. We're really happy to be at 112 subscribers right now. And before our documentary comes out, one extra subscriber, two extra subscribers, or 100 extra subscribers means the world to us. Thank you so much. Be, be sure to share this video with your family and friends, and we'll see you in the next video.